haven't got both signed, you can't have them. We have a problem. Elund Karth refuses to send any troops to assist Mel Senshir. The old fool never would listen to reason. A weapon is only as strong as the one that wields it, and a general is only as powerful as the army she leads. We need to convince Karth to lend us his aid. You can find him in the upper city, looking over the strait at Mel Senshir. The fool might as well be condemning the city. They're in the city, but they can't join us unless Elund Karth grants his blessing for them to go with us. Agarth has gone to reason with him. He was a fine fighter, as I recall, but I do not know if his diplomacy is as practiced. So many new faces in the market these days. Well, who can I send? You! You look capable. Stone in the brow, proud of bearing. You are just what we need to deliver these notices. You'll do it, won't you? You've got to do better than the last fellow. There's pay. It's for the war effort. Notices of duty to denizens of Rathia selected to serve. The work can be hard, and you've got to... Well, look the part. I'll give you a list of names, and you get each of them to accept their card. Easy as that. Well, what do you say? Will you do it? Take these cards, deliver them to Runeer Wesnan, Maywin Wyvern Giff, Afendel, and Varen Seawine. Almain? Hmm, odd. All can be found in Rathir, and I can be found in the officer's hall on the burn when you're finished. The names are Runeer Wesnan, Maywin Wyvern Giff, Afendel, and Varen Seawine. They're all in Rathir. Now, be on the your way. Please, find Selny. Tell her we betrayed. The lower tunnels. Go. Tell Selny. No one else. Betrayed. Stand aside. Students of magic, masters of spells. Oh, there's no use. I've lost the keys. Now Gwalt may have my head if I can't think up something fast. Say, you're not good with locks, are you? Would you help a poor fellow who's down on his luck? Yes, as in, no need for keys. Ace with a lockpick. <laughs> Gwalt may wants an old red ledger from the storeroom in the customs house. The chest it's in, that is, yes, uh, although I don't know which one it is, but it's down there, somewhere. Oh, now don't worry, nothing in the storeroom's seen the light of day in years. No one will mind if you pick a few locks before you find it. The Chamber of Trades on the way to the Keys, and the storeroom's off one of the wings. Just pick any lock down there till you find the old ledger. Chamber of Trade Basement. Just head toward the key. Is there anything that can't be found here? The Eloon speak. My Lady Coriana won't eat. She won't sleep. All on account of a poor, sick Malian. Woe on House Anwan. The healers say bad blood, but my lady swears it's poison. He sleeps and sleeps, but he's never any better. Well, it's hard to say. The healers are no use. You could go to her yourself and ask. 
no harm in that. You'll find my lady in the house, by poor Melian's side, most likely. Here, in House Anwan. She spends most of her time by poor young Melian's sickbed. Do help my lady if you can. So then she looked at me and said, If that's a war... Then someone else will have to. Damn. What do you want? I'm beset by petitioners these days. Another advocate for this absurd plan to retake Melsen Shear, I take it. Look to Rathia's sister across the strait. Her battered walls, her burned gardens, her back broken from a decade of war. We take in refugees. We send them food that we can spare. We try to ease her pain. But for ten years I stood here and watched her die slowly. And now you, a stranger, think to convince me to commit the whole of this city to saving her because our army's greatest failure has recovered some old relic. Mel Senshir stands as Rathia's eastern shield. Even now nearly broken, she still stands. This city can do nothing for the fortress, but perhaps its people can. The wounded we have here wish to return to fight for the fortress one last time. I'll tell them to meet you at the docks, and take this as well from my own collection. May it be of use to you in the coming battle. Go to the eastern docks in the lower city and find Captain Dodwin. He will oversee your journey to Melson Shear. Go. Save our sister across the sea or die with her. Seems like a lifetime since the King was telling you to find allies. You really took that to heart, didn't you? Good thing you won't be facing it alone. In fact, I've got a lead on finding an old friend of ours. Old Felmerus Hughes, of course. If anybody can help, it's bound to be the gnome who brought you back to life. I've been asking around and I was able to make contact with his superior. He thinks he might be able to help find Hughes. All Gnome Scholars have a Templar who sponsors their research, and apparently Hughes's sponsor, Templar Octien, is desperate to find him. Go southwest to the Hollowlands and Detir. Octien will be waiting there to discuss how you might reach Hughes. You're not the only one on the hunt for Hughes. Octien has followed his trail to the Hollowlands and Detir. You'll want to talk to him. You know, before I met you, I swore to myself that my fighting days were behind me. After fighting nearly all my life, it was one of the hardest things I've had to do. But now you've taken me this far. If I don't take these next steps on my own, I don't think I ever will. City Watch never rests. Curios, talismans, items of power. Four and thirty. Not a gold piece more. Just look at it. Ships are loading now for Melsen Shear. Are you ready to board? Right away.
Agarth, you know better than any of us how this will end. Why must we fight a war that you know we will not win? You would still ask that to Lara. After all you've seen. Until I get an answer, Fate Weaver. Until then. Why do we fight? Because there is hope. Because only through battle can we break the chains that fate has forged. Don't you see? We have been given a chance. And though some of us will die, we will die knowing that our lives were finally our own. That we are no longer slaves to the whims of fate. Would you throw it away? Just for fear of another defeat? Not I. I will fight. And if I die, I die knowing that I have made a choice. And this choice, for good or for ill, was my own. Not exactly the heroes of legend, but you're a welcome sight nonetheless. Likely, you've come to see the fortress before it falls. I've seen her stand for the last ten years, but the end, I think, has finally come. Our scouts report that the Tuatha are massing, and in their wake we've seen it. The Niskaru Lord, Baylor, has come for Melsenshir at last. Indeed, they expect us to hide behind the walls of Melsenshir. Instead, we'll rush the field and delay the Baylor's arrival. That leaves the Witch Knight. Malwin is the commander of the Tuatha forces, and likely the one who has made a pact with the Baylor. You and Talera will be part of an effort to kill him. If we can kill Witch Knight Malwin, then the Baylor may run rampant in the field, and in the chaos we can rout the Tuatha. It is much to hope for, but that's the plan. Soon. I know you're eager. But take a moment to make sure you're ready. Check your gear and say your goodbyes. When you're ready, come meet me by the gates. I'll be readying the troops. Keep walking. Watch yourself when you're on the wall. I don't care if the bartender's manning the ramp. Any luck finding the old gnome? Child, you can't hide a good battle from an old hero. I wouldn't have missed this for all the wine in the House of Ballads. It's been twenty years since I've had the honor of fighting by Talera's side. They used to call her the Lady of the Lance. And they will again, if I'm any judge. Pray to Lyria that fate is on our side. I've got plenty of supplies if you've got plenty of coin. Back again. You didn't think I'd miss this. What is it? Time is running out. Steal yourselves. The battle is not to be taken lightly. Then let us go. 
We've had sightings of the Tuatha Vanguard. When they enter the courtyard, we will open the gates and counterattack. You and Talera will use the distraction to execute your plan. One way or another, this will be over soon. from Malwyn can now begin in earnest. I will take one path and you another. If a Wigeland's troops hold, then Malwyn will be delayed at the outer wall with the Baelor. But we should make sure he doesn't get past us. Now we must get moving. There is no room for error.
moving. I'll make sure they don't try that again. Someone's got to make sure these ladders stay down. And you need to move before O'Waglin's troops start falling back. Hmm. Oh, finally, some reinforcements. We tried to fight off the two Arthur, but they took most of our company prisoner. They're threatening to execute the rest unless we lay down our arms. You could get in amongst them, silently, if possible, and save what's left of the survivors.
This is our chance. Before they can regain control of the creature. Ah! Theoden, guide my hand. For the fear! Still alive! You've got to destroy Baylor before it tears this place apart. I know, child. Everything seemed still in that moment when she struck the Baylor. At least she died how she wanted to. But her sacrifice won't mean anything unless you do something to stop that beast. Yeah. <laughs> 